Welcome back to Insurmountable. We've done the first mission, found our base camp, talked with the mysterious woman with the glowing rock. Now it's time to start exploring these mountains and start figuring out the time loop that's trapping us here. First, let's take this side mission here because we get a bonus for doing it as the adventurer, which is the only class we can play as at the moment. And it also seems like it's relatively easy. It says a mountain formation with relatively gentle slope. So let's take that. Normal weather, colder nights, and thinner air than normal. Right, I think I already put my equipment together, right? Yeah, so let's go with this. We don't have much capacity at the moment, but hopefully we'll be okay. Here we go. There's a new task waiting for you, a new challenge to master. You head out again into the unknown. All right, what have we got? This whole area down here is pretty flat. And there's our goal. The starting area doesn't look too bad. I don't see tons of bad terrain or anything. Um, let's look for vents. We're going to want to gather equipment. Ideally before we get above the death zone. There's a bunch of events over there. Yeah, there's not too many down here on this flat part, which is probably because it's so easy to walk across it. But there's a couple over there, and it is fairly flat. Like, it, it might take a bit of time, but it shouldn't take much energy to get over there. Oh, there's a cluster of three right there. Can I go straight there, or do we have to go around? We can go pretty much straight there. Yeah, okay, I don't want to go all the way over there if there's a whole, like, a cluster of three just right here. And then I think we can just, yeah, we can just go up that way. I don't see any dead ends. I guess I'll just head over to the other cluster of three. Yeah, it sounds good to me. Gonna have to go through one yellow there. Oh, I just realized we're starting relatively high. We're already at 50, well, 5,100 meters now, but yeah, we're not that far off the death zone already. I'm actually not sure what we started at before in the last mission, but I feel like we started lower. I don't know, I could be wrong. Let's get some treasure, because God knows we need equipment. A stranger is sitting motionless on a rock. His naked torso is adorned with a number of tattoos, strange patterns and symbols like those mostly worn by the spiritual leaders of the local indigenous people. It's bitterly cold and you wonder whether the stranger has frozen to death. Yeah, you don't really want to be naked out here in the freaking snow. We're probably going to get hit over the head, but let's talk to the stranger. The stranger opens his eyes and gives you a stern look. Looks like he's alive. Oh, we could give him food if we had any, but we don't. I ask if he needs help. The stranger mutters a few words in a foreign language you don't understand, but by the sounds of it, he's not happy about your attempt to make contact with him. Then he jumps up and disappears behind a rock. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye. Try to avoid that dangerous terrain. We do have an item for ignoring dangerous terrain for six hours, but I don't want to use it on just two of them. I want to use it when we have more terrain to worry about than just two. Smooth sparkling stone. Oh, we've seen this before. Let's examine the ice crystals. It might be just a collection of water molecules, but they symbolize the beauty and diversity of life. The longer you gaze at them, the stronger you feel. Oh, we get XP and energy. Nice. End of mission, end of mission limited. Okay, so 
we get more stuff when we wake up, or we gain body temperature when we use a consumable. Both are pretty good. But I suppose the more stuff when you wake up might be better because that gives us body temperature and also other things. So let's take that. Dead deer. Oh no. You stumble over the corpse of a deer with no signs of decay. The animal died only recently. The remains of chewed herbs cling to its snout. Its last meal, probably still undigested. You could cut open the animal's stomach to get to the herbs. Oh. Um, I guess that might give me that purple herb that restores sanity? Yeah, it's going to take sanity to do it. But I suppose if I get the herb back, I'll gain more sanity than I'll lose? Oh, that's grim, but I guess I'll do it. You did it! You've indeed found some undigested herbs in the deer's stomach. Oh, I got two herbs. Okay, it's actually really good. Gross, but good. Yeah, just one herb will take me pretty much back up to full. We do lose a little bit of health, but... I don't know, I've never had an issue running out of health so far. Can I get that? <laughs> Not very easily. That is quite a circuitous route. Not worth it. Oh yeah, actually, wait, 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 hold on, stop. I gotta remember we have this ability now. Every 24 hours I can use it and it lasts for two hours, which I think 0.3 is used up with each tile of time. So I guess this will account for like six or seven tiles worth. Where we'll gain temperature when moving and use up a lot less time. Oh, a lot less time. I thought it took a lot less energy. I might have chosen the wrong active ability. Oh well. Well, the body temperature is nice, and you might as well use it, because, I mean, there's no reason not to, really. But the time cost is pretty much irrelevant, unless you're trying to either avoid nighttime or avoid, you know, oxygen loss when you're above the death zone, but we're not in the death zone, so it's kind of, it's kind of meh. I'm just going to ignore it for now. I mean, you do lose sanity just by moving. I don't know if that's based on time, so I'll lose less if I use this ability. I don't know. Discover the wreck of a plane crash. You could take the time to search it. Yes. Absolutely. Thoroughly search. You find some equipment. Ooh. Heavy boots. Minus 15% energy cost on stone. Cool. End of mission. End of mission. Limited. Okay. Oxygen. Ooh, plus 20 maximum oxygen, even. That's really good. That's really good, actually, because right now we have 100, so that's a 20% increase in our max oxygen. Or gain body temperature with every consumable item you use. Let's take the oxygen. It's going to fill up as we continue to move. Oh, right, we have cold nights, so we're going to lose more body temperature at night. Is there a cave nearby? There is a cave up here. Don't know if I can really call that near. It's going to take a lot of energy. So if we use this ability... If we use this ability, I think we're going to lose less temperature because it's going to take us less time to get there, right? So right now we're going to lose 10.5. If I use this, now we're going to lose 4.5. Yeah, okay. Actually, the reason for it, the body temperature thing is probably because we get plus two body temperature per hour when moving. That's probably it more than the time thing, really. Anyway, let's get this event. Saddlebag. You discover a large leather saddlebag lying in the ground. Right next to it, you discover faded hoof prints. You find some herbs in the saddlebag. Okay, well, we're good on sanity. Three herbs already. 
I want to stay out in the cold as little as possible. So let's try to sleep. Now that we're kind of early on in the night. Oh, but first, I guess let's follow the light. As you approach, you realize that it's coming from hundreds of fireflies. Get some sanity and some XP. Let's sleep long. Yeah, that'll pretty much max out our energy. And we'll get some warmth back. And it's daytime. Let's get this treasure chest. I guess I could avoid the yellow if I go down here and go that way. Is it worth it? 13 energy versus 0.8. Eh, I'll risk it. Worth it. Nearby an abandoned camp, there's a torn tent. You could take the time to search the intact tents. Yes, thoroughly search. Although that is going to take up most of the day. Eh, worth it. Definitely worth it. We want equipment this early on. The longer we have equipment, the longer it'll pay off for. Hiking staff, 12% less energy cost on flat terrain, and 12% less time cost when climbing one height difference. Okay, so basically, takes less time and energy to climb flat or one, like short height distances. Not great, I guess, but... We don't have anything else to put in that slot for now, so meh. Okay, we get more when waking up. Oh, this one is the next level of the oxygen thing. Even better. This one's only good for a limited time. Still, 48 hours is quite a while. I'll probably get a lot of XP from that. I kind of wonder if I should do that. Hmm... No, I, I think this, like, more stuff from waking up is more important. Or the oxygen one. Let's take the waking up one. Oh no, rough stone. One of those stones hits you on the torso. A little bit of health damage. Okay, not that big of a deal. Okay, we have another cluster of icons. We have four icons right around here. Oh my god, like five, if you consider that part of the cluster, which I do. Hmm. It's a lot of dangerous terrain here. I might use my thingy. Hold on, I think there's a better way around here. Yeah, nah, it's not worth using. Let's get this one first, though. A corpse, lovely. His skin is gray and cold. Thoroughly search? It's gonna take my sanity, but I have three herbs, so I'm not too worried about that. I found nothing useful. Ugh. Oh, there's a guaranteed good thing there. Stone plaque. Half buried in the ground, you find a weathered stone plaque. It seems to be old. Very old, in fact. Dig it up? I mean, kind of rude, and it's going to take a lot of energy. Let's do it. As you're digging at the earth with your bare hands, your gaze falls on the characters etched in the stone. Presumably some kind of writing system. You regret that you're unable to read the characters. There must have been a civilization here a long time ago. What must have led to their downfall? Finally, you're able to free the plaque and lift it up. In the hollow beneath it, you find some provisions. We got back some sanity and some XP and a bandage. Okay. Don't know if that was worth all that energy loss, to be honest. But let's get something good from this shrine. While staring at the starry sky, you notice, there, a shooting star. You quickly make a wish for energy, definitely. Okay, let's plan our route a little bit more. If I just try to go straight there, where's it gonna take me? There. 
Yeah, I don't see any big, like, offshoots or dead ends. It all seems to kind of just lead there. Let's get this event. I still want more equipment. In front of you, you see the outlines of monoliths arranged in a circular pattern. Some of them have collapsed and broken into thousands of pieces. An ancient ritual site? Ooh, if I stay and examine this site, it is going to wreck my temperature. I don't even know if I have hot tea. I don't even have hot tea. I don't think I should do that. Kinda wonder if I should just sleep. Well, mm, let's sprint so it takes less time and let's get over to this cave. Try to sleep out the night. Let's see, what's a, ooh. What's a good way? Man, that's taking a lot of energy. Jesus Christ. Ow. That's gonna hurt. Uh, that's really gonna hurt on energy. Hold on. Um, this thing ignores dangerous terrain for a limited time, so I don't think that counts for the blue ones. It's not dangerous, right? They just take more energy. I'm going to do it, though. I'm more worried about the temperature than the energy. I'll get that energy back by sleeping. And it's a freebie sleep. I just really don't want to be moving outdoors during the nighttime. As much as I can help it. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. However, you notice a strong smell. Mmm... I don't want to spend too much time in here because I want to sleep the night away, not sleep the day away. Let's just lay down and sleep for a long time. Oh yeah, we'll get pretty much all our energy back and some temp. <laughs> and there's a storm, probably doesn't help with my temperature. Anyway. Give me events. Give me events. Spiders, reach into the hole. They skitter over your hand, but they don't hurt you. You find a cloth bag. Oxygen mask, nice. Don't need it yet, but be very handy later on. A wreck. Should we thoroughly search it? See, normally I would, but the whole nighttime thing, this is going to take the whole day if I do. Ah, let's just continue. Alright, let's start to head towards our goal. See a treasure chest, treasure chest. Caves are very important right now. I see one over there. That's really far away. Hmm. There's so many blue ones. Let's just go over here. See what we can see from there. Oh, <laughs> so many blue ones. Ow. Ah, Jesus. No. Actually, wait. No, that's fine. A 
crevice splits the ground in front of you, blocking your way. You risk a glance downwards and notice an old backpack hanging from a ledge. You could try to climb down and grab it. Hmm. That takes energy. Mm, let's try. You did it. You hurriedly, hurriedly inspect the backpack. Its heft gives you hope that retrieving it was worth the effort. You excitedly peer inside and discover valuable equipment. Snowshoes. Minus 20% energy cost on snow. Well, we are certainly encountering snow more than stone right now. Wait, 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 wait. No, don't, don't delete those. Let's keep those in my inventory. End of mission, end of mission, limited. This reduces the time cost on all terrain. Hmm. Oh, this is the one that only works, or it's only active when you're sleeping without a tent. Which hopefully I could just avoid entirely. Let's get fresh air. Minus 12% time cost on all terrain. Oh, it's only active while oxygen is above 60. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, so we don't really want to head, like, off here. That's kind of a dead end. So we want to head more that way. Which means we're pretty much going to be going by these events here anyway, so we might as well. Yeah, we're definitely going to run out of energy before we hit a cave. As your gaze wanders up the towering vertical rock face, your eye is caught by cast iron rings. Old pittons. You tilt your head all the way back. You can make out that the pittons lead to a small plateau. Why would anyone have gone to the effort of trying to reach it? Oh, we don't have the energy to even try to reach it. Yeah, everything's here. Ah, didn't mean to do that, but fine. In a rocky hollow, well protected from the wind and weather, you discover a tent, or what remains of one. There are slashes in the tarp as if someone had cut the tent with a sharp blade. Scattered outside the tent are items of clothing and provisions, but no sign of the owner. Why did they leave in such a hurry? Hmm. Oh, it's going to cost so much temperature if I thoroughly investigate. It'll cost a lot of temperature, but not as much if I just search the provisions. Let's do that and then sleep. If you're reading the signs correctly, the owner must have been some kind of explorer and have been gone for some has been gone for some time, and you don't think they're coming back. You find provisions that you can use. Oh, some hot tea. Nice. Yeah, let's rest. Sleep long and it'll almost be daytime. Kind of want... Kind of want that. Can I get it relatively safely? Yeah, I think that's worth it. Two yellows. Do I even have to go over those yellows? Or is there another way? I can't really see anything. Uh, but it looks like there's no way to pass here. No, I think we kind of have to go around. Is it worth going around? Because I think that's a dead end over there. I don't think it is worth going around for it. I don't know. Let's move two spaces down here, and it'll be daylight. And now we can actually see something. 
Hmm. Actually, there is a way... I can't really point it, because I can't point when I'm in this view, but... There is a way from here that kind of, like, cuts over up here. Kind of... Yeah. <laughs> I can't show you, but there is a way over. I won't be stuck if I go over there. So... Oh dear god, this view is horrible. Ah! Jesus. I just want... I just want... I just want that. Yeah, that. Okay, I'm gonna go over three yellows, which is not the ideal use of the safety rope, but I think it's worth using it. And using it will give me a little bit of temperature as well. Yo, go. Just so I can get out of that spot where I can't see anything. Dear God, please. Okay, stop, stop, stop. If I want to be the most efficient possible, I'll swap in my walking on stone takes less energy boots. I don't really want to have to micromanage that, but I don't know. An active fire pit, but not a soul around. The flames seem to be fighting the icy wind for survival. Watching the fire dance in the face of the cold is almost meditative. You watch it for a while and regain... Oh, I might do warmth. I'm having trouble keeping my warmth up. Like, energy is easier to get up than warmth, for sure. Let's do warmth. Nice. I was feeling a bit worried about my warmth, but now I'm feeling pretty good. Put my snowshoes back on. Wait. There we go. Six point three, seven point one. Oh, hold on. I think the safety rope is actually making it so that the blue tiles don't take effect. Like, I'm pretty sure that would take a lot more energy to go to that blue tile if it wasn't for the safety rope. I'm almost certain. Yeah. Okay. So that's considered dangerous terrain. That's very good to know. That actually makes the safety rope even more useful. Hmm... Well, this is kind of awkward. I don't really want to sleep at the cave because it's kind of the beginning of the day. Let's move over here and see if I can do an event that'll kill some time, perhaps. Man, my sanity is really low. <laughs> I should take some herbs. You see footprints in the snow in front of you. They've almost been swept away by the wind, but they're clearly human and very large. Like those of a giant. And it would appear that this giant is wandering around barefoot. You follow the tracks to a crevice where they end. At the bottom of the crevice, you can make out a scrap of cloth. Did someone fall down there? You could jump across and pick up the trail on the other side. Ah, so we can burn energy or time. Well, we're trying to burn time so I can sleep, so let's burn time. I carefully climb into the crevice. The crevice isn't very deep. You climb down effortlessly. It's not a giant that you find, but a woman's corpse. You move closer and look into the two dark, empty eye sockets. What happened to her eyeballs? Could animals have eaten them? You search her torn onorock and find an identity card from a research institute for zoology. And some equipment. Hmm... I'm not exactly sure what an Onorok is, to be honest. I don't know if they're very unique or extremely common, but that just made me think, could that be the woman that we've spoken with? You know, she's, I assume, stuck in the time loop as well, but what if they're not? What, like, what if there's copies of her out there, and this is one of her copies that died or something? 
because they described her as having an honor rock. And this says the body has a torn honor rock and a card from a research institute for zoology. I don't know if that woman worked at a research institute, but the place where they have a base camp seems to be like a research base. And she mentioned having to do some calculations. So possibly. Gonna lose some sanity, get some XP and gloves. Minus 10% energy on all terrain. Nice. Yeah, I've got a pretty good amount of equipment. Um, I really would like some food and another O2 canister, but otherwise I'm feeling pretty good. Like, I have items in every slot. Ah! I didn't mean to move there. Yeah, let's ignore the cave for a second and get this. See if we can burn some time. Saddlebag. Find some herbs in the saddlebag. I have so many herbs. I should start taking them. It is going to hurt my health a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that. I have a bandage if I ever need it. I want to leave some of my sanity open for me to gain it from events and stuff. Yeah, that didn't take any time, though. Hmm. Well, we might be able to spend time by just exploring the cave, I suppose. Explore the tunnel. Uh, it's so dark that you can't see your hands in front of your face. I step into the darkness. You wander through the darkness. After a while, your hands find an object on the ground. It feels unusual. <laughs> oh no. I explore the object with my hands. You find some equipment. Okay. I, that could have been worse. Snow boots. High quality. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 30% less energy on snow instead of 20%. Cool. That didn't really take any time, unfortunately, but I guess I'll just sleep for a long time. Might as well. I'm not going to lose anything, only going to gain things. All right. Got a ways to go. We got some steep climbs, that's for sure. Do I want more equipment? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I do. Let's go for it. There's a bunch of caves around here, so... I'm not worried about my energy. Plenty of opportunities to sleep before I break through the death zone. Ah! Snow blind! A desert of snow and ice stretches before you, radiantly bright as you are... as if you're staring into the sun. You screw your eyes up to see better. They feel irritated and are starting to ache. You wipe your face with your hands. Tears are running down your cheeks. Oh, Jesus. So, use energy or time. Let's use time, which also takes temperature. Daybreak. You drop down into the snow and close your eyes. The feeling of having something in your eye is driving you crazy. You wait a while, but it doesn't change. You start rubbing again, harder and harder, until you notice a sticky secretion on your fingertips. <laughs> Ooh. Frozen to the bone, you set off again with an uneasy feeling. Ooh. A low building catches your attention. It's well integrated into the landscapes. You almost didn't notice it. 
The architecture is modern and simple. Did the mysterious occupiers leave it behind? As you approach the entrance, you hear a snarl coming from inside. Is this going to be the panther inside again? Or cheetah or whatever it was? I think it was a pan... Was it a panther? Anyway. Hmm... Now that it's like just the start of the day, I don't know if I do want to sleep. My energy is pretty high even. Actually, let's just burn a bunch of time and then we'll go to sleep. Hopefully I don't get mauled to death. On the other side, there's a room's proportions take you by surprise. Yep, it's the same thing. Blueprints for antennas. Cougar, yep, same thing. We lose a little bit of health, but we're fine. Eh, worth it. 24, 24, end of mission. Get body temperature when you use an item. Mm, yeah, let's take that. Okay, can I snag another event before I go to sleep? How easy would that one be to get? Yeah, totally doable. Probably not the best route. Oh, there's a whole bunch of events here. Can I climb this way? Like, is this a dead end? No, we can get to the peak from that way. I think I might take that way. There's so many events there. Backpack. Bootprints lead away from the spot and it, oh, sorry, I should read from the beginning. You find a backpack concealed under a thin layer of snow. Bootprints lead away from the spot in a zigzag pattern and disappear behind a rock. Okay, that's weird. Follow the tracks. You grab the backpack and follow the tracks. You spot a tent sheltered from the wind between two sheer rock faces. You cautiously approach and poke your head inside. It's abandoned. And sadly, the backpack contains nothing but an empty brandy bottle. You're disappointed, and you hope nothing terrible happened to this unknown mountaineer. discover some wild berries in a bush. They're bright in color, orange almost. You hesitate. They could be poisonous, yet a little sustenance would do you a world of good. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think eating mysterious berries is a good idea. Let's continue. Let's go get this event and then we'll head to the cave and sleep. Another corpse. Thoroughly search. I'll take the hit to my sanity. I have so many herbs. I find a vacuum flask filled with tea. Let's take an herb. Alright, I guess we could explore a little bit. Sure, let's follow the light. Uh, you find you follow the light and find a weathered block of stone encompassed by a strange light. When you touch it, energy flows into your body. You feel invigorated. Sleep is now the last thing on your mind. Oh. That basically gave me the effects of sleep without sleeping. Which actually is 
kind of horrible in this case because I wanted to wait out the night. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, I suppose I could use this extra energy to just... And temperature to just go to the other cave. 48, end of mission, end of mission. So this gives me more body temp per hour when moving. And this is more oxygen. I already have quite a few oxygen increases. Temperature has been a problem in the past, but I do have two teas on me and only one oxygen bottle. Mm. I'm going to take the oxygen. There's another cave down there. Eh. Worth it? I think it's worth it. It's probably a better route than that, though. I hope. Blue? I'll take blue over yellow. Shall I explore? Mm. Yeah, sure. It's so dark, you step into the darkness. You encounter some rubble. Looks like the passageway has collapsed. You can't go any further. Okay, well, I got some XP. Sleep for a long time, and it's going to be well into daytime. Okay. Let's get moving. Up some tall ass mountain, Jesus. I can barely see up there. I was gonna go that way. Perhaps I still should. Yeah, I think I still should. And I'm seeing a lot of nasty things, I'm probably gonna use my rope. What's going to take effect for, like, six? Six different tiles? Let's use it. Somehow using the rope makes me warmer. Eh, there we go. Oh wait, what was I thinking? It doesn't apply for six tiles. It's six hours. And there's like three uses per hour, roughly. I don't know how it works out when it's 0 0.3. But yeah, no, that's way more than that. It's like about 20 uses, probably. About 20 tiles. Take all these dangerous ones and not have to worry about it. Oh yeah, there's two guaranteed good places. So worth it. Oh, someone who's injured. They wave you over as you approach me, holds out an oxygen bottle, his face contorted in pain. He says something to you, but you don't understand a word. Mm, find out what's wrong with him, it's going to take a lot of energy, but... Oh, and a lot of time. But I think we can sleep somewhere nearby. I think I saw a cave kind of near. Let's find out what's wrong with him. Oh, he dislocated it, just like last time. 
<laughs> just like last time. This dude keeps dislocating his arm. Man, just can't keep it in the socket. But yeah, we get an oxygen tank. Cool. Oh, my um, rope expired. Still, it's worth it to go through a yellow one to get this. An old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly, toothless smile. Uh, we sit with her and regain... Well, we don't really need warmth. Granted, we don't really need health because we have a bandage, but... I guess we need health more than warmth. Oh, we're going to enter the death zone up here. Your gaze wanders across the ground as you balance on a narrow ridge. Something catches your eye. Covered with a fine layer of ice, the bright colors of a mountain flower shine out from between the rocks. You bend down over the petals and inhale the delicate fragrance. A warm feeling of happiness streams through you. Oh, that's nice. Get a bunch of sanity and some XP. Aren't you supposed to get the choice of like what you wanna, what bonus you want when you enter the death zone? Was that nullified by the fact that I got an event on the same tile that I got to the death zone? I don't know. That was weird. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. Follow the light. Bunch of fireflies. Let's sleep long. It'll almost be daytime. Corpse. Okay, I don't want to spend a bunch of time here. Actually, these don't take time. They just take sanity. Okay. Mm, thoroughly search. Find some equipment. Climbing axe. Mm, where does that go? Oh, that goes in place of that. Okay, well, I don't need the snow boots anymore because I have the better snow boots. So let's just delete those. Um, but yeah, the climbing axe, basically less energy cost on anything that's not flat terrain or one height difference. So compared to the walking, the hiking staff, it's like, this is good for small things, this is good for bigger climbs. And we're about to do some very big climbs. Yeah, I suppose there's no way around it. Just get climbing. Hmm. Let's go here, and then I think I'm going to use my rope. Because I think we're going to have a lot of nasty tiles. Okay, now we've entered the death zone, and we get this thing. So, decreased energy cost. I think I'm going to take the decreased energy cost, because we have a lot of upgrades to our breathing. And we have two tanks of oxygen. But we don't have any food, and I only have two uses on my tent. So, energy, I think, is more important. And it's the beginning of a day, so I'm not going to want to sleep anytime soon. Yeah. So how long is that for? Eight hours minus 35% energy cost. Nice. But yeah, if I wanted to go here... Well, there's actually no special terrain. So I don't need to use my rope. Not the most efficient route. 
Yeah, it's really not an efficient route, though. So I think I'd rather go over here. Should I use my safety rope? Not for just two tiles, surely. Deep snow. Mm, go around. It's going to take energy and... Oh, time. Shit, a lot of time. No, we cross. The snow gives away. You hit the other side of the crevice hard, but manage to catch your fall. Let me just take a little damage. That's fine. Yeah, I don't want to burn through this summit fever. We are using all of this, baby. Because look at how little energy it takes, man. Between the summit fever and the, the uh, high-quality snow boots, and we're on snow here, it takes so little energy to make these climbs. I love it. A little bit of a detour here, but worth it for the sun. Hopefully we can get energy back. You discover a tree. Sight of it comforts you. We get sanity and XP. Okay. Oh, we get a level up. End of mission. Reduce penalty for sleeping without a tent. Meh. Active until the end of mission. While your oxygen is high. Minus 20% time cost on all terrain. That's nice. Let's get that. Yeah, we have a lot of oxygen things. Just gotta remember to keep our oxygen above 60. But our max oxygen is 130, so that should not be a problem. I don't want to get off the snow, because we have such good bonuses on the snow. I suppose I could just try to go kind of sideways. Nah. Not worth it. I don't think. <laughs> We're pretty much at the summit. See if we can get energy back with this. A golden eagle suddenly lands in front of you, its wing carrying it majestically to the ground. Fascinated, you watch it. And it watches you, too. Unafraid. You can't explain it, but the encounter feels magical. Fully wrapped up in this moment, you regain... Hmm... Sand warmth, I guess? I really wanted energy. Well, we'll get energy back when we reach the summit, although not that much. Should I sleep? I shouldn't sleep. That'll take oxygen. It's not a bad pathway. Maybe I should take it? Wait, is there really no way to go, like... No, there is. Yeah, you totally can do that. Takes a lot of energy, though. Yeah, let's just go this way. Summit, summit, summit. Yeah. You breathe in deeply as you look down from the summit. These mountains are really something else. You wonder how you'll find the strength to withstand this madness, but your doubts soon give way to certainty. Deep down, you know that every single climb gives, gives as much as it takes. Every step provides experience, makes you better. And now it's time to keep going and reach your goal.
All right, let's get down. Gonna try to stick to snow. It's damn steep. So steep, so much energy. I think that's a yeah, that's a cave down there, and it's pretty close to nighttime. Let's oh, we're not gonna be able to make it, are we? Maybe if we take a better route. Really, an elegant way down. Oh Jesus! No, there's there's no way to get there. No. Yep, let's use our tent. Sleep long. Then I suppose we'll head over to the cave and maybe sleep short, possibly. Yeah, I don't need to sleep long. Let's sleep briefly. Don't want to waste too much of the daylight. Or oxygen. Oh, right. I wanted to stay above 60 oxygen, and I'm only at 61, so let's use a tank. Now we're at 113. That's our goal. Looks pretty close. Do I want that? I don't really need any stats. I'm good on stats for right now. I think we can just head towards the exit, honestly. Just trying to stay on snow. Guess I can sprint for the heck of it. It's not really a reason not to. I think I can actually just straight up make it there. I don't know, I'll just use my safety rope. Just in case there's some bad terrain on the way and I think we're good. <laughs> If I wanted to min-max this in the extreme, I'd get all the events around here, because that'll give me a little more XP, but I'm not too worried about min-maxing that much. You've reached your goal. 
Your body feels weak, but your heart is jumping for joy. You know that the mountain is a merciless foe, but this time around, you've defeated it. Oh, interesting. You get points for unused consumables. Good to know. Definitely have quite a few points to spend. How can this be? Just seconds ago, you were still on the mountain. And now you're suddenly back in this strange station. The mysterious stranger is here too, as though she was waiting for you. The stone brings you back here as soon as you hear the siren and time resets. I think it just returns to its place of origin. You should know that we're in a former research station where experiments with gamma rays were conducted. Apparently they wanted to create a gigantic electromagnetic force field the entire island was essentially a restricted area. Hardly anyone knew it existed. Hmm, so this is a research station. And I think the body we found, it was an ID card from a research institute of zoology or something. Doesn't really sound related to gigantic electromagnetic force fields. But something went wrong, some sort of breakdown. The electromagnetic radiation that was released caused countless anomalies throughout the mountain range. Ultimately, they must have triggered the time loop. Time only moves normally in the station. Maybe because it was the location where the anomalies originated? I don't know. Anyway, I found the glowing stone in the room next door. It's all that remains of the experiments. I'm afraid I can't offer you a better explanation. Many things are just as incomprehensible to me as they are to you. But there's one thing I've figured out. The stone responds to the radiation. We won't succeed without it. Please continue with your preparations so we can eventually get out of here. Okay, let's look at team upgrades. Mm. Oh, right, so we don't have any terrain knowledge points, but we do have environment knowledge points, so we can get a couple upgrades. Each one costs 10, and we have 20, so we can get two upgrades. Mm, these are all good, of course. Reduce body temperature loss at night. Sure. 0.25 reduce body temperature loss at night. If I do it again, 0.5. Yeah, so 0.25 with each point. We have some event knowledge. Don't really see a reason. Like, I don't think there's any strategizing here. Like, these are all good. <laughs> Reduced energy loss, sure. Reduced time cost, sure. They're all good. We have some character points. Can't spend the ones for the scientists or journalists yet because we haven't unlocked them, but we have 200 more points here. Um. Oh, this is the one that I guess I thought I was getting when I got the sprint. The Master Climber. Minus 20% energy cost on all terrain. Lasts for 3 hours, cooldown 24 hours. Yeah, this is pretty much always going to be a good thing. Mm. Oh, this makes you get double experience for events during the night. I mean, double experience? That's a huge upgrade. This increases your max stats. I don't know. It's all good. Literally everything. Let's get the night one, though. Let's get the night and max energy increase. Yeah, we still have the same capacity, so I think I might stick with what I've got here. I really like the safety rope. Though I think I should have used it a little bit more aggressively. But I quite like it. 
yeah, I think I'll leave it there. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we're going to do, well, it looks like this side mission next because we get a bonus for using the adventurer.